Welcome back still to come. Italian Sally and Gino DeCampo gallops to the rescue of one viewer who is in need of a secret chef. And Hollywood actor Dominic Cooper goes into his shell to play a sea turtle. First, though, if you're looking for something a little different to do at the weekend, then do we have an adrenaline-packed activity for you? Donning a skirt and some skates with an all-girl roller derby team, we gave Matt Johnson a break from the hub to find out more about the UK's coolest craze, all-girl roller derby. Are you getting tired of boring, lacklustre weekends, or are you fast becoming a stay-at-home football widow? Or maybe you're just tired of your football team's home form and that it's woeful? Well, I may just have the right thing for you. Fast Track Roller Derby. Just think of it as sprint racing on roller skates. You know, just like the film. From the silver screen to Bethnal Green, with just as much bottle, attitude and first aid, Whip It, Drew Barrymore's directorial debut, illustrates why roller derbies are here to stay. Starring the sweet and petite Ellen Page, this critically acclaimed roller flick has helped to swell the global membership of this cult sport. The whole thing is just skate-tastic. Now that's all well and good in the film, but in the real world, this sport has some real deep roots, as well as a never-say-die spirit. This sport originated in the USA in the 1930s. Back then, it was played by both men and women before crowds of over 50,000 people. In the 1970s, the sport suffered from a lack of interest, which saw it almost die. But now, it's back, and it's bigger and more popular than ever. Lock up your sons. Now, I've come here today to try my hand at this girl sport and helping me keeping my wheels planted firmly on the ground and so I don't make a complete to myself are these girls, the London Rock and Rollers. Yeah! With its speed, attitude, colourful costumes, attitude, face paints and outlandish names, not to mention its attitude, this well-kept urban secret is truly packing them in at the turnstiles. So girls, thank you very much for inviting me today. I'm really excited because it's, it's thousands of people doing it now yeah. because of that film Drew Barrymore did called Whip It. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you think that film has given this sport more impetus now, more popularity? I think it's helped. Yeah, I think it gave us an influx yeah. of girls coming yeah. in because yeah. they see the, the film, they see how cool it is and then they think, you know, that's for them. But what I like as well is the, is the outfits. Yeah. But why, why are the little pants? <laughs> <laughs> These pants are new. These are our new little pants. They're our new yeah. little pants. You, you yeah. can put your own influence of whatever you want. You know, yeah. we have the main colours of red and black. What is appealing about the sport then for you girls? For me, I don't really like exercise. I used to find it boring going to the gym. And then my friend brought this up. And it's just, you get to meet different people and it's a different kind of sport. And you get a lot of progression now. Talk me through the rules. Well, I think the best way, Matt, we'll give you some skates. Okay. We'll get you kitted up, get you on the track, and we'll explain all the rules when you're down there. Fantastic. So, remember, it's only a girl's game. Oh, <laughs> the things you do for television, eh? Now, ma'am, if you're watching, remember, I did try to go out fighting. Try to go out fighting. A hero's welcome awaits me. <laughs> yeah! Rock and roll! Right, look at that. Oh, look at that. Laundro, Matt. Is that my name? Yeah. That is brilliant. Because why? Because I'll take you to the cleaners. Let's hope I don't disappoint. A roller derby takes place on an oval track, and each game is made up of two 30 minute halves. The two teams are made up of five players each. One person per team, a.k.a. the jammer, starts 20 feet behind the big pack and starts after the rest of the team skates off. The whole goal is for the jammer to lap everyone on this oval track and begin scoring points. For every opponent she passes, she scores a point. All the while, the other four players, or blockers, try to knock their opponents down to make it harder for the opposing jammer and easier for their own jammer to score. I'm feeling good. No, not really. Right then, I am back, and I think I'm ready. Um, I need to check some things, don't I? Am I ready? Yeah, I think you're ready for us today, Matt. Okay. My name's Murderess, and I'm going to take you through some of the nice rules to and meet you, Murderess. Today. <laughs> One of the first things about roller derby, you need to learn how to fall. What are you doing? About <laughs> Stupid girl. You wouldn't see Philip Schofield doing this, would you? 
No, no! <laughs> Have it! What are you doing? Get off! No! <laughs> I'm kind of regretting I said it was a girl's sport now. Ah! Do you know what? I'm absolutely pushed. They did that for an hour. I've been around three times. I'm going to leave it to the pros. Can you make up a cup of tea, will you, please? Make your own tea. All right. To be honest, I never expected today to be so much fun. The atmosphere was amazing. The action was unbelievable. The whole experience was just spot on. Roller derby is one of the fastest growing national sports around. And if you don't have the kahunas, pardon my Mexican there, to join in, it doesn't matter. It's also a great spectator sport for all the family. Can girls rock as hard as boys? Absolutely. Well, you're right. I mean, I would do it. Uh, uh, I'd have a go at the skating, but I just don't have the legs for the skirt. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, for further information on how to get involved with your local roller derby team, you can visit our website, itv.com forward slash this morning. Now, with smash hit films including Mamma Mia, History Boys and Tamara Drew under his belt, Dominic Cooper is fast becoming one of our hottest acting exports. Two weeks ago, we caught up with Dominic as he takes to the sea in his latest role as Sammy the Sea Turtle in brand new animated movie, A Turtle's Tale. <laughs> Just what I needed. Hold on a sec. What's that noise? I didn't hear anything. 